Before we begin, I would ask that all cell phones be turned off, please. At this time, will you please rise, graduates and guests, will you please remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. exercise for the class of 2015. <laughs> Graduates, today you complete a journey that began about 13 years ago when your parents dropped you off for your first day of kindergarten. I'm sure there was joy and excitement then, and I'm sure there will be today as well. The next journey you embark on will bring you face to face with some tough challenges. There is no doubt that your parents, friends, family, teachers and coaches have, pre have prepared you to face these challenges. As you look back on some of your accomplishments and experiences at Linden High School, take the time to remember the relationships you've created. These friendships were created during discussions with teachers, eating lunch with your classmates, Riding the bus to athletic events, walking the halls of Linden's High School, or texting your friends during one of the many snow days. Reflect on the exciting, exciting times you have spent over the last 13 years, and look forward to what accomplishments you will make in the next 13 years. This afternoon, you will conclude your time at Linden High School. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Throughout it all, you have demonstrated a strong will, and commitment to excellence. It has been a wonderful journey, and I want to commend you on a job well done. At this time, I would like to introduce an outstanding person, your student council president, Kaylee Nowich. My name is Kaylee Nadelich, and I'm your class president. So here we are, our graduation. For all of us, this moment's accumulation of the past 13 years of our lives, and a final farewell that hardly does that time justice. For some, this ceremony comes as a relief, as we are able to cast aside the shackles of high school that bound us as we enter the liberty of the adult world. 
For others, this time comes bittersweet. Every memory that we have made at school is caught in an emotional struggle with the allure of freedom that is the adult world. And that's exactly what it is, the adult world, not the real world. To say that we have not yet entered the real world, to say that everything we've done over the past 18 years of our lives was not real, that it did not matter, would be a lie. We have always been a part of the real world. This is merely a new chapter of our story. We started off as naive, tiny elementary school kids with young romances and best friends on the playground, ready to face the world with our Britney Spears and Power Ranger backpacks. We count down the days until field day and the minutes until gym class. Remembering the rules of four square and when to feed our Tamagotchis or our Nintendogs were our biggest sources of stress. We sang little songs such as Miss Mary Mack, Bob and Mary Sitting in a Tree, and Peppermint Patty. Our biggest debate was in sync or Backstreet Boys, and we spent our time begging our parents for money for the book fair. Then we moved on to middle school as awkward, brace-faced, and gossipy students where everyone knew everything about everybody. Dress clothes were challenged, and X body spray and Hollister perfume seeped through the gym hallway. We started going our own way and making friends with new people. We had our first school dances where we danced to the Love Shack, the YMCA, and the Cupid Shuffle. Finally, we made it to high school. We were granted more freedom and started to learn the ways of the world. Seniors were intimidating and we were worried about finding our way to classes. Then, we were sophomores. We knew the routine and we thought we knew it all. But at the end of the day, we were still below men on the totem pole. When junior year rolled around, reality sunk in. We played bigger roles in the school. We were finally upperclassmen. We stressed over the ACT while we were told to decide what we wanted the rest of our lives to look like. I think I speak for everyone when I say that junior year was the most challenging, but the most rewarding. And as soon as the class of 2014 left the building, we were seniors. The year we've been dreaming of was finally here. It was time for blow off classes and a year of last. As seniors, everything was different. There was no such thing as senior lockers anymore. Freshmen looked smaller, the cookies at lunch tasted better, teachers became mentors, but many of you were just becoming more nostalgic. Were we really going to miss this place? When we first stepped into Linden High School freshman year, it seemed that graduation was a distant dream and it would take an eternity to get there. But here we are. The past four years of our lives have passed in the blink of an eye, so take the next three months to slow life down and live it to the fullest. Do not forget that you are only young ones. Do not be afraid to try something new or act on a whim. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And if I could tell you one thing, it would be you're never as broken as you think you are. Sure, you have a couple of scars and a couple of bad memories, but then again, all great heroes do. And in the words of Mr. Cargill, you can be anything that you want to be if you put your mind to it and really dedicate everything you have, throw yourself right at it. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2015. Thank you, Kaylee. I would like to direct your attention to the north end of the gymnasium as Mr. Bennett directs the Linden High School Wind Ensemble as they perform blue and green music arranged by Samuel Hassan. See
Please help me welcome an extraordinary young man, a valedictorian for the class of 2015, Mr. Brady Sarka. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm a little nervous here, so I apologize if I'm a little shaky. First of all, congratulations, class of 2015. We did it. I'm extremely honored to be standing here in front of you today. To begin, I'd like to express my appreciation to all my teachers and to the administration. We wouldn't be sitting here today without all the help you've given us. All the days you don't want to come in and deal with us, I'd just like to take a moment and thank you for everything you've done for us. So please, take a moment to give these teachers a round of applause. That is it. Uh, next, I'd like to thank all the parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters. You're the reason we're here today. Uh, you've pushed us along. You've done everything in your power to get us to this very point. You've been our chauffeurs, our consultants, our confidants, and most importantly, our banks. <laughs> In the end, you've done more for us than we could ever ask for, and we would like, all like to take a moment to thank you. This huge accomplishment is ours to share, because whether we admit it or not, we cannot do this without you. So please, take a moment and give your families a round of applause. Now, let me take a moment myself to thank all of you. For those of you that don't know, I've not been at Linden my entire life. I came here from Fenton during my sophomore year, which I must add was one of the best decisions of my life. It isn't always easy coming in as a new kid, but you all made it easy. To my teachers, counselors, and administrators, thank you for everything. You're all amazing, and I'm so thankful for everything you've done for me. However, all of you have the largest impact on me. All of you guys are the reason my high school experience has been so enjoyable. You are some of the most compassionate, generous, intelligent, and talented people I've ever met. You made the transition so easy that it almost feels like I've grown up with many of you my entire life. I've been here for just over two years, but the relationships I have formed here are the types of relationships that many people search their entire lives for. I cannot thank you all enough for taking me in and accepting me. Linden is my home and always will be, and I am honored to be a part of such a tight-knit community full of great people. Alright, that intro wasn't so bad. Just 17 paragraphs left, so bear with me here. No, no, I'm serious. 17. <laughs> Just fine. But I do have a few quick words I like that. So, uh, I googled how to write a valedictorian speech. I really wasn't sure what to do here. And uh, the two tips that popped up were give some heartfelt advice and don't say anything to embarrass yourself and your family. Uh, so I figured I'd make sure to do one of the two by giving some advice, and then I'll just have my family pray that I don't embarrass them up here. So I'd like to start with a quick quote from my favorite actor and someone that I think is a great speaker, Will Smith. He stated, being realistic is the most common path to mediocrity. I absolutely love this. Because why be realistic? Why limit yourself? Why set your goals based on what other people label realistic? If you want something, go get it. Period. Just decide what you want, decide who it is you want to be, and then go out and do it. Dream big. Don't create limits for yourself. You have all the opportunities in the world, so go out and take advantage of them. Go out and make this world yours. All of you have amazed me so much already with everything you've done. The work ethic and talent of our class, both in the classroom and out, is something that I find tremendous. Just last trimester, we had 21 seniors that maintained above a 3.8 GPA. In addition, another 95 seniors had a GPA above 3.0. That is over half of our entire class that had above a 3.0. That is certainly a testament to our hardworking nature as an entire class. While all the work we've put in over the past four years has finally paid off on this day. Congratulations, everyone, again. <laughs> Moving on. I mentioned the talent we have outside of the classroom. Shall I begin with athletics? Since our class has been in high school, Linda has won Metro League championships in boys soccer, girls soccer, boys cross country, girls cross country, football, track, and baseball. 
not to mention all the district and regional titles, as well as those athletes that have went to states as individuals. And listen to this. We have 20 students that are going on to play in college next year. Congratulations to all of you on that feat. One team that I didn't mention was the Quiz Bowl team. Our Quiz Bowl team went 16-0 this year in Gen C Academic League, while also finishing fifth in the state. The Quiz Bowl members are some of the most knowledgeable individuals I have ever met, and I would just like to give them the recognition that they deserve. <laughs> Next, I would like to mention the theater group and all the members of the school plays. I'd like to add that I went to every play but one, and you guys are phenomenal. Uh, and let me tell you, if you guys didn't get a chance to go out and see them, you really missed out. It was evident how much work was put into those plays, not to mention that one of the plays was written and directed by our very own Cole Tunney. It was fantastic, and I think Cole is a great example of how talented and hardworking our class is as a whole. There are countless other examples of our talents and work ethic, but I'll keep it short. As I mentioned before, I've only been here a little over two years, but it didn't take me long to realize just how gifted and special this class really is. So let me conclude. If there is something I want you to remember from this speech, please let it be these next few points. Like Logan said last night, this isn't an end. This is just a small stepping stone in our lives. Now go out and make this world yours. I said it once and I'll say it again. Don't limit yourself. Don't let anyone else limit what you can do. Dream big and pursue those dreams. Then just enjoy the journey that life takes you on. Take in all those little moments. That's what life's all about. Love endlessly. Make every group you come in contact with better. Not because of the things you do, but because of the way you act, the way you treat those around you. So here are five simple tips that I'd like to give all of you. Number one, love much and love often. Happiness is driven by love. Number two, stress less and never hold a grudge. Nothing good comes from stress or anger. Number three, read more and listen more. There is always more to learn. Number four, plan like you will live forever, but live like you will die tomorrow. Every day you have is a gift, and don't ever forget that. Number five, all your parents. You'll need it as much as they do. So congratulations, class of 2015. You've all earned it. And thank you again for making my high school experience more than I could ever ask for. You're you are all amazing, fine individuals, and I cannot wait to see what the world holds for every one of us. Good luck and God bless. Thank you, Brady. Now, I would like to introduce the Linden High School Ensemble as they make their way down to the front of the stage. Directed by Mr. John Bennett as they perform, I've had the time of my life, arranged by Mac Huff. I 
Good afternoon, everybody. That's my best for scout invitation I can come up with. Um, it is a true honor and joy here to be here today to represent the Board of Education. Uh, our President, Scott Maker, is unable to be here due to a uh, military assignment, trying to keep peace for all of us, which we certainly appreciate. Also not in attendance today are Mr. James Roden, trustee, and Mr. trustee, Mr. Pete Ponzetti. They send their deepest um, thanks and congratulations to. So, as well as my fellow board members, Mr. Mike Murphy, Ms. Michelle Shana, and Mr. Steve Wilson. Um, 13 years ago, we, uh, you, you, you began your career here at Lincoln, most of you, not all. Um, we certainly appreciate the time you've been here. Uh, we've received as boards many reports over the years about how well you're doing and various things in the elementary years. It's, it's a lot of uh, what's going on in the buildings, how much fun you're having. And as we move out of the middle school, it's more about academic progress, extracurricular pro progress comes into play, and then it continues on to the high school. My brother Mike Murphy and I have a kind of, uh, kind of a special kindling to this group because we joined the Board of Education the same year that you started as kindergartner. So, 13 years has been a long time for us, and uh, unfortunately, Mr. Cleo didn't tell us we were we got to go too. We're, we'll be back in the fall, so you guys, I don't, I don't know, somehow you guys get a pass to go and we don't. So, but anyways, we love being here. It truly is a uh, labor of love, Mr. Losey. It's a little joke we have between the two of us about how we feel about being here at Linden. Great community that it is. Um, the, the community is the other component of what we do. We kind of represent the community. And again, 13 years ago, um, we identified some needs. We wanted to make your experience the best it could be. And we got a bond passed. And for the last 13 years, you have reaped the benefits of that bond. You've gotten you know, upgrades into your elementary classrooms and also uh, a new middle school to be in and upgrades to the high school facilities. So again, as you go forward, graduates, I hope that you will thank your community members for the position that they put you in. It's been hard work on your part, but uh, they've also wanted to be a team player in the role. Um, a couple years ago, early in May, we, we got to the uh, start to be the final end of the year for academic achievement is one of the things we focus on a lot. Um, and at the Linden or the Academic Awards where we represent um, people that have attained a high grade point average for one, two, and three years um, throughout their career get special recognition. Many of you were involved in that and um, again, congratulations for that. Appreciate it. This is a special year, 2015, because uh, Mr. Russ Oselski, our esteemed principal here, will next year be our interim superintendent as Mr. Cleo goes away for a year to kind of help defend the peace, too. So Mr. Russ Oselski um, identified a need. He said, something's missing here when we talk about academics. And it was uh, the need for an academic hall of fame. And so that was started your year, 2015. And I'm very hopeful that some of you will qualify. It's a very high standard that the uh, committee set. We inducted five people this year. And I guess uh, they, they, they all made numerous statements. The one thing they said that I would pass on to you is one of the recipients said, be happy. So try to go forward and be happy. And I think you'll live a happier life if you're as happy as possible. One of the things that we're most proud of is the lack of uh, discipline issues that we've seen in the last year. And I really believe that seniors have a lot to do with that. They set the tone for the, certainly the high school, trickles down from the middle school. And so thank you seniors for making that a part of our job that we don't have to do. We really appreciate that. <laughs> Move forward, um, the lack of structure will be the number one thing you'll focus. Some of you have established career paths through your educational development plans, and uh, you'll be going on to uh, either start uh, a career or go on to additional schooling. Some of you might attend one of our military uh, academies or such. But the bottom line is, the structure is gonna be a challenge. I encourage you to utilize your 
people that are there, been there to support you all your years. The uh, uh, teaching staff uh, has been there for you all those years. They can be a valuable resource for advice. Uh, friends and family can be a very valuable source for advice on how to move forward. Uh, I would especially recognize your parents because I really think I really think that they have a very, very high, very, very high standard of how they want you to be successful, and uh, you need to take advantage of that. Um, the bottom line is, I think I see it here, and Mr. Cleo summed it up for us the other day. He said, as a board of education, I would describe this board with two words, common sense. I would encourage you to make the final decision on anything you do, ask yourself the question, does this make common sense? Graduates, you are the class of 2015. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Giving the commencement address to the class of 2015 will be Mr. Ed Colino, Superintendent for Linden Community Schools. We are all stories in the end. Just make it a good one. What do you tell the class of 2015? It's an honor, first of all, to be asked to address you guys this afternoon. And you think to yourself, what do you do? What do you say? And you go through all the life's lessons or everything you ever needed to know you learned in kindergarten type things. And I've talked about those a number of times. But in the end, I thought, what did it mean to me when I was in your seat at graduation? And I can't remember my class song. So I said, I'm going to do something, maybe, if they have a good class song, that revolves around their class song. So it, you guys will remember it. Hopefully you know it's Don't Blink by Kenny Chesney, right? Hey, listen to the words. There's three things I pulled out of that song that are super important. Enjoy every moment. Don't forget to always set goals and get the right people in your boat. I just got done writing this speech as I was sitting here because I was changing it as Cali talked, as Brady talked, yesterday as Logan talked. I was adding in things that you all said, even something Mr. Murphy just said. So, at the core of these, this Don't Blink song, these three things keep coming up. Right now, enjoy the moment is graduation. Your life up till now could be defined with preschool through 12th grade. Callie shared her pre-K pre chapters with us earlier today. Some of the things I picked from that were how junior year was really the big year. Senior year really didn't turn out to be maybe the way she had it planned, is what I heard her say. Brady's thoughts on this, all the successes of the class uh, of 2015. Man, he went through so many different aspects of success. It was incredible. The documentation of those. How do you write those chapters in your life? Make sure you're celebrating the successes you've had up till now. Make sure you revel in it. This is an excellent class, academically, athletically, club sports, discipline, even just being friends to one another. Showing the other kids in the school, 11 through 9, what it looks like, what right looks like. The class of 2015 is what right looks like. Think back on your journey to this point. Who supported you? Who had your back? Who forgave you when you made that mistake or you said that thing that you shouldn't have said? That leads me to the very next thing. Set some goals. Brady talked about this moments ago. Setting goals is super important. If you don't set a goal, hey, how do you know if you ever got there? You don't. You've got to set goals. Your next dream, your next challenge. Logan even talked about it yesterday. Something like this is not about money in your pocket. 
It's about money and your passion. When you set goals, and you set them because someone else said, you need to do this or you need to do that, you'll never afford a family if you follow that goal. Who cares? Your family will support you if you're following your passion and you have love for life, love for career, love for what you're doing. That's the basis of a family unit. Here's my Kenny Chesney reference. Don't blink, or you'll take a nap and wake up at 25. You best start putting first things first. Get right back to that next target, that next challenge. Dream big. Believe in yourself. You can do it. Don't let other people tell you you can. Now you've kind of had forced help up till now. Mr. Murphy just called it a lack of structure. That's what you're gonna face coming up. Pre-K through 12, you've pretty much had family, friends, our hometown atmosphere. All this stuff was around you to help you succeed. Brady touched on a million more points than I did in my short speech on all the different things that were here to support you, to help you get through, to make sure you are setting those goals, to make sure you're following up on those goals. A lack of structure is about what you're about to face. I literally had written down here, real world but I changed it to adult world after Callie said what she said. You guys are about to face the adult world. You'll have so many choices. You can blow off so much stuff that no one will ever catch you on. It's so easy to let dreams slip by, to let goals just disappear. It's not structured unless you structure it. So how do you do this? You gotta get the right people on the boat. You have to. I took a statistics class my senior year. In my high school, that was kind of like the blow-off math class of senior year. I took it. I had a great time doing it. It was actually interesting. Have you ever heard of the magic T? We're actually void of the magic T in this room right here. If you're in any classroom, statistically, the kids in the magic T get better grades. It's the front row and then the column right down the center. Statistically, in any college classroom of 10, the front row and the column right down the center get the best grades. So guess where I sat in college? Magic tea, baby. <laughs> Statistics might as well help me, right? So after I was struggling in my math class, guess what I really learned? The adult world sucks. <laughs> no one's telling me what I really need to do. So I went to my math professor to get help. Dr. Northey, one of the coolest math teachers at Eastern Michigan. And he helped me with my math, and he said, well, then, who are you studying with? And I told him who I was studying with. And he told me to get those people out of my boat. He said, Ed, the problem is, if you're struggling and you're the smartest one in your group, you're not doing yourself any good. I had to get different people in my boat. So who are the trusted souls in your boat? The ones you get advice from? The ones you get help from? The ones you call when the chips are down and you know there might be something more fun for them to do, but they come and they help you anyways. Make sure you say thanks to those people. Make sure you make a conscious decision as you move on from here to be aware of who's in your boat, what kind of advice they give, and what kind of, sometimes, advice you don't even have to ask for, but you just get. When someone screams, duck, you should go. You shouldn't look around for the duck. These people know what I mean. So who's in your boat? Another way to look at it is take a look at whose boat are you in? Who do you help? Who do you give advice to? Who are you there for when the chips are down for them? Because it's a two-way street. You can't just own a boat. You gotta be a crew member in other people's boats as well. So make sure you take stock as you move into this less structured world, the adult world, of who's in your boat, in my Kenny Chesney reference from Don't Blame, trust me friends, these years, go by, these years go by faster than you think. Try to slow it down to take this crazy world we live in. So that song, when I looked at it, some 102 year old man was on TV and he was trying to describe the most important thing in life. And that's what his advice was, don't blink. Which basically means enjoy the moments in your life. Set goals after every celebration and every enjoyment of that moment. Get right back after it. 
and set some goals for your next challenges, your next dream. And get the right people in your boat. Live by the standards you set. Some people whose boat you're in depend on. Now, with all these three principles I talked to you over and over about, I thought, well, there's one more thing I've got to talk about. Some of the references, if you think of it like chapters in a story, right now your book is, is up to 18, 19 years old. When you're my age, 48, man, I can't remember. Like the chapters of my early life are all like in my high school yearbooks where I have most of my memories now. What is the most important thing other than those three to me? Don't let a mistake get you down. As I look back at my life and the core standards that I really have, almost every one of them, I screwed up in the beginning. I made the wrong call, I paid the price, and I changed my mind, I made reparations, I said I was sorry, and I set new standards in my life. So don't fear mistakes, honestly. If you don't try to make them, but if you make them, they could really end up being the trophies in your life that set the kind of person you'll be for the rest of your life. So my congratulations goes out to the family and friends of our graduates, but most of all, to you here at Red and Black, our graduates, congratulations and good luck to the Linden High School graduating class of 2015. Thank you, Mr. Colito. Honor Guard, as you take your position for the presentation of the class. It is an honor and a privilege to attest that each of these students before you has successfully completed the Linden High School District requirements for graduation and now deserves to receive their diploma signifying their graduation from high school. Before they rise and take their positions, um, obviously we've had a little technical difficulty with our, uh, our backdrop, so I'm gonna ask that the individuals behind the stage please move off to the side as the graduates come around and then uh, as the uh, photographers take the pictures, please. Graduate. Matthew, Matthew Beal, top 10, summa cum laude. Bloomfield, top 10, summa cum laude. Cole Tunningly, top 10, summa cum laude. Kayla Kiffel, top 10, summa cum laude. Logan Murphy, salutatorian, summa cum laude, top 10. Brady Sarkon, valedictorian, summa cum laude, top 10. Taylor Bernstein, top 10. Summa cum laude. Marshall Ryan, top 10, summa cum laude. Joshua Springsteen, top 10, Summa cum laude. Andrew Koss, top 10, magna cum laude. Audrey Bakos, honors.
Cameron J. Davis, cum laude. Alexis C. Brandt, cum laude. Kyle J. Corbin, honors. Zachary Walsh, magna cum laude. Alexandria Ray Crane, magna cum laude. Kevin Wright, honors. <laughs> Ashley C. Peck, honors. <laughs> Christopher Stars, honors. Jonathan Campbell, honors. Gabriella Freeman, honors. Jake Zorn, magna cum laude. Kevin Holberly, honors. Grace Walterhouse, cum laude. Jacob Marshall, honors. Ovington, honors. Andrew Roberts, honors. Amanda Furth, honors. Nicholas Bonardelli, honors. Kelsey Connor. Tanner Castro. Jesse Miguelski, honors. Benjamin Thornton, cum laude. Alexandra Villarreal. Donald Hudson. <laughs> Devin Coda. <laughs> Daniel Giddings, honors. Spencer Blackburn.
Zachary Kentish. Honors. Alec Monticelli. Travis Pets yeah. Honors. Yeah. CJ Simon. Yeah. Ethan Canal. Magna Cum Laude. Brianna Howard, cum laude. Austin Burkle, honors. Mimi Moffler, honors. Trevor Bonasic, cum laude. Benjamin Baker, cum laude. Hannah Joslin, honors. Dylan Elmer, magna cum laude. Michelle Coleman. Mallory Murphy. Cum laude. Kennedy Christensen. Sierra Mittendorf. Olivia Kirky, honors. <laughs> Allison Leo, honors. <laughs> Michaela Brown. Kaylin Abransky, honors. <laughs> Bailey Morton. <laughs> Kat Rokemore. Nathan Gilmore, cum laude. <laughs> Kaylee Natowich, honors. <laughs> Jacob Pheasant.
Christina Kahane honors. Megan Kenny honors. Gabrielle Bryson honors. Ryan Morris. Michael Gold Jr. Kyle Porter. Keegan Turner, honors. Anton Richards, Kublade. Aiden Shaw, honors. Abigail Keller, Kublade. John Needham, Kublade. Sarah Marie Holland, honors. Zachary Appleberg, Magna Cum Laude. Jason Shelton, honors. Cameron Van Dyne, honors. Gabriella Thomason Wright. Tyler Newell. Caitlin Wood. Matthew McClanahan. Shelby Cartwright. Trevor Dennis. Tiffany Thompson. Brandon Sack. Heather Kimball. Michael Udell, cum laude. Brandon Huntley. Savannah Ferrara.
Mike Bear Kelly. Lauren Green. Bailey Henderson. Caitlin Bluer, cum laude. <laughs> Melissa Deardoff, honors. <laughs> Chandler Stokes, honors. Mackenzie Armstrong, honors. <laughs> Samantha Liss. <laughs> Tyler Lazinski. Erica Smith, honors. Jason Warson, honors. Kelly Welch. Fiona Edgar Bowder. Tom Kretschmar, honors. Cassidy Lau, magna cum laude. Amanda Snow, cum laude. Hussam Vitello, summa cum laude. Mackenzie Sullinger, honors. Zachary Wood. <laughs> Cheyenne Andre. <laughs> Christopher Augustine. Julia Wright, cum laude. Caitlin Pierce, honors. Lauren Breitling, honors. Hunter Jacobson. <laughs> Garrett Vliet. <laughs> Patrick Gagno. <laughs> Chris.
Christopher Perks. <laughs> Kayla Durden. <laughs> Courtney Crandall. Anthony Resta. <laughs> Jessica Kurtz. <laughs> Honors. <laughs> Austin Nashar. <laughs> Honors. Keegan Copeland. <laughs> Brett Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. Jacob McQueen, honors. <laughs> Kaylin Link. <laughs> Haley Stacy. Justin Sanborn. <laughs> Madison Green. <laughs> Michael Emmington. Hannah Curtis, honors. <laughs> Timothy Sines, <laughs> honors. <laughs> Sydney Ganger, honors. Ken Santos. <laughs> Dominique Scripter. <laughs> Honors. <laughs> Mason Qual. <laughs> Mackenzie Adams. Honors. Toby Schubert. Aaron Maul. Madison Murray. Honors. Alex Dockery. <laughs> Michaela Phillips. <laughs> Honors. <laughs> Matthew Smith. Alexandra Soriano. <laughs> Austin McNeil. Goodbye.
Kara Bucknum. Felicia Schoen. <laughs> Seth Daves. <laughs> Abigail Pettis. Johnny Bates the fourth. Lauren Cotley. Honor. Brianne Sutherland. Angel the third. Chelsea Caldwell. Honors. Nicole Tester. Honors. Nolan Rotoma. <laughs> Heidi Ritchie. Colin Turnipsey, honors. Marcus Colinano, foreign exchange student. Gina Shepherd. Elena Paul. <laughs> Courtney Susama. Rebecca North. Aaron Alexander. Angelica Reed. Gregory Lieberman. <laughs> Catherine Fahey, honors. <laughs> Jared Allen Wagner.
Jordan Bellabon. Ricky Carwile. Kyle Smith. Corey Green, honored. Michaela White, honor. Andrew Ballot. Ariel Herman, good Kaylee Corcoran, cum laude. Ryan Richardson. Samantha Green, honored. Dylan Ronald. Miranda Green. Honors. Mitchell Davis. Janelle McKenzie. Rachel Richards. Joseph Gus. Hayden Rokal. Joshua Dighton. Ryan Torek. Andrew Lehman, honored. <laughs> Jeff Sturber, good money. <laughs> Allison Mayton. Victoria Birmingham. Adriana Keach, honor. Andrew Bennett, magna cum laude.
Jack Elliott. Logan Frederick, honor. Marissa Ackerman. Joshua Smith, honor. Brittany Bobo, honor. Amara Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2015. Again, congratulations to the class of 2015. I would also like to thank the teachers, the teachers of the Linden School District who have guided each of the individuals sitting before us, the teachers who have spent countless hours preparing your sons and daughters to be the very best that they can be. Today you leave us as educated, successful young adults. We now rely on you for your guidance, those words of wisdom, and friendship. Take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. Don't be afraid to take on challenges that you face. You are prepared, and you will do well. Graduates, while Kaylee makes her way to the bell, and the honor guard position themselves for the recessional, I would like to remind you that diplomas can be picked up after the ceremony in the cafeteria. Kaylee, ring the bell. Do it again. 